Greetings and welcome back to my top 25 memories of 2019. Today we are grabbing the last remember button. That's right, this is the 25th memory. In random order, sort of operated like a uh, advent calendar or countdown, which is usually for Christmas. I'm counting down to 2020. And the last 25th memory is... Bob Ross's Joy of Painting Show. All right, so Bob Ross Paintings, or the Joy of Painting television show. And I'm going to actually start my build out here because I want to incorporate some wilderness. Uh, most of the uh, Bob Ross paintings that I watched or the Joy of Painting episodes were... Uh, landscape paintings, excuse me, I said wilderness. And the way that uh, Bob Ross paints is just magical. He has a style that's called wet, or it's like sometimes called wet on wet, where he, there, that's pretty nice right there. We're just going to take a couple more of these and see which one we like the best. And what I've done here is a really simple build. This is Bob Ross. He is an American painter and he's known for his giant Afro style hair uh, and his very simple paint easel and metal setup uh, and his landscape paintings in a black darkened studio. Uh, and this is the simplest build for a really simple art technique, which produces some amazing art. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this, and then we're going to take one last look at all of the other builds that we did this year. So I was basically coming back on a very long plane trip, and I kind of ran out of movies and TV shows to watch. Didn't feel like playing any games on my iPhone. And so I was just flipping through. They had a music section and a relaxation section. So you could get videos of like the seashore and that kind of thing. And I came across the joy of painting. Now I used to watch this TV show when I was a kid and I really enjoyed it, but I haven't watched it in a long time. I know a couple years back, Bob Ross became a meme and just became popular again, but really it wasn't until this last um, fall that I really got into it. And his voice is is soft and reassuring and full of energy and happiness. And the phrases that he uses when he's painting, he says things like, there are no accidents when you're painting, or there's no mistakes, there's just happy little accidents. And and, and let's paint in some critters that live up here. And, and let's, all kind of fluffy, amazing things are happening. He says the this, these phrases which just draw you in and make you feel so comfortable. And he makes these amazingly beautiful paintings with simple style, wet on wet, where he just takes the brush, he taps the color into the bristles from the palette, and he just taps it into his world. And he just lets the world build itself. And the way he describes it is as if it's all pre, or I'm sorry, no predetermination, just, just making it up as you go along. Uh, I watched a documentary on Bob Ross. I found it amazing. Uh, so much so that I was inspired to look up uh, certified Bob Ross teachers and set up a class for myself. Now, uh, that class is going to occur in 2020. But in the meantime, I decided I would just Google around and try to find other painting classes in uh, and around my area. And so... My boys and I went to our first painting class, and I've got another painting class like this lined up in January. And to me, it is like pre-Minecraft artistic uh, ability. Um, so Bob Ross Joy of Painting is my 25th memory of 2019. So let's just go through and take a look at all the memories. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go down, and again, no particular order. And remember 2019, uh, this memory in the upper left was escape rooms with friends, family, co-workers, jigsaw puzzles. I really like this build. Bob Ross, that was today. We've got the Pearl Jam tribute band concerts menu. Menu? Memory. <laughs> My collection of comic books that I've now got 
kind of out on display, no longer in storage. Uh, Pokemon Go with friends and the raid train and all of that fun that I've had this year. Backyard barbecues, particularly 4th of July over at my friend Jeff's and over at my sister Laura's house. Uh, we have interior decorating of my uh, new home and building my birch tree. <laughs> uh, we've got my poetry workshops at the library and at the corner bakery with some new friends this year. We've got uh, Minecraft recreations, Cedar Circle, and we've got uh, Little House in the Big Woods, and we've got back here uh, the Bongo Tez server. That was so much fun. We have new tastes or taste testing. So we've got uh, violet flavored candy and lavender flavored candy tins, all kind of fruit flavored waters from Hint and doing a whole review on 24 different kinds of water. We've got Chattanooga, Tennessee, my wonderful hotel room, sitting on the balcony with my favorite crust pizza and just watching the people at going across the beautiful bridge. We've got the memory of my role-playing game podcasts that I listen to. In this case, I've got the three brothers, McElroy and their father, doing the Adventure Zone. And I've got the They Might Be Dungeons crew on the Frog Pants Network. Uh, board game nights at home with my sons, Matt and David. That was so many good memories. Completing my collection of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles role-playing books. We've got the Fall Festival where my son was volunteering to teach kids how to paint pumpkins. And we had some awesome shaved ice snow cones from food trucks and a cool hot dog flavors. I've got my South Dakota trip through the Badlands and seeing Mount Rushmore. Oh my gosh, this was so awesome. New food experiences including the sushi station and Indian food and Benihana um, Hibachi Grill. All the support and awesome friendship and collaboration from my online friends. Scented candles. I can smell them right now. New music and my soundtrack of 2019 in particular. A band called The Paper Kites and uh, Regina Spector. We've got feeding squirrels in the backyard and, and uh, my new deck. Just sitting out here looking out at the wonders of nature. Uh, we have my amazing trip to Sweden and hanging out with uh, Philonius and seeing the and visiting the Minecraft offices and spending a couple hours with Mojang employees who were really happy to see us. Uh, I've got my vacation with my son from Hawaii and snorkeling with the sea turtles. That was, oh my God, beyond amazing. And then last but not least of the 25 top memories was my visit to Westlake, Texas and just chilling out in my hotel room, looking down at some turtles in a lake and a, a beautiful hill in the background before going off to teach some upcoming practitioners at my work. So that is um, some of the best parts of 2019. It was a full year. It was a fun year, and I really hope that you had some great memories, and I hope you have a really awesome 2020. We'll see what is to come on this channel, and 